guys, welcome back to Relationships with Marika. I'm very excited because tonight I have another guest with me, Kevin. I'm so excited to have you on the show. Kevin is a civil engineer and um, he is doing the shout out to his three girlfriends on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, welcome. Thank you very much. It's, it's awesome to be here. Um, great opportunity to like talk about some deep stuff so i'm ready for this it's, it's yeah, gonna be do it. i'm i'm excited to to laugh a lot <laughs> <laughs> um so tonight we're actually going to be speaking about ghosting someone now i don't know if you know what the term ghosting is but ghosting is basically just someone who just falls off of the earth like it's as if they just don't exist at all. Um, you might have been talking to them, building a relationship with them, and then all of a sudden, nothing. Now, Kevin, I don't know about you, but like, have you ever been in a situation where you have been ghosted? Um, luckily not. I don't think so. I don't think so. But um, there has been times where you like talking to a girl and stuff and you know the replies of it late but I, it came from both ends so i think that that was that was fun yeah so you <laughs> thought that you might be ghosted and or even ghosting but luckily um there was good communication in the end and it was like this is how it is and this is what because i think yeah i don't wanna i don't wanna give out too much content <laughs> up front but i think that's one thing we're gonna be talking about in this podcast is um how crucial communication is for yes. this sort of stuff yeah yes definitely well yeah i mean with ghosting i actually have had a situation <laughs> where i thought or i could see the signs that i'm about to get ghosted or oh, well there was this one time that i was ghosted by a guy I really liked him and I was like, and then he told me he's going to take me for coffee and then I just never heard anything back from him. And it was, it was really, it was a little bit disappointing, but it's okay. Got over it. Then, um, a different scenario also met a very nice guy and went on a date and everything went well and it was great and the conversation was flowing and our messages we were like talking so much and then this one day all of a sudden i don't hear from him for like five six hours nothing then eventually i sent him this funny gif um you know with mr bean sitting in the grass like you know waiting <laughs> and then only he replied but he was very short off and i was like i don't know something is just not feeling lacquer and then one of my friends actually told me that he is kind of vibing with a different girl and apparently he has done something like this before and then the next day he sent me a voice note but also all of the messages that he sent me it was very like it doesn't actually say anything and it's very short off and I'm like okay you know this conversation is not leading anywhere and then that next day when he sent me the last message it was again something that I was like okay how do I even reply to this do I reply to this and then I kind of ghosted him and yeah I I feel very bad about it that's that's another that's another question like um what do you what do you think is um how ghosting impacts the the ghosty as well as the ghoster yeah I, i'm glad you actually used that example because that is exactly what i was thinking about i think a lot of the time with ghosting i think the ghoster feels like they've got this advantage over the person because you like especially like where maybe someone you feel like they've they've ghosted you and you know like maybe they um spend time with someone else and then they message you and you're like okay so you think you thought you're gonna get away, away with this well watch i can ghost you as well and then mm. you just end up ghosting that guy at, or person as well and you feel like you are on like this one level ahead like the whole time like you can ghost better but um yeah that's yeah um as a ghosty i think if you've been ghosted like straight off the bat without having ghosted anyone i think that can 
do some serious damage, especially like mental health wise. You mm. know, some people seriously suffer with like rejection, rejection. Mm. and um, some people. And I think this is where the psychological thing comes in: is that people, the ghoster is maybe used to being, um, what's the word we just used? Reject, Re- rejected. Rejected. Yeah. 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 So, um, I think some of it like stems from maybe childhood, like. Mm a kid who didn't get that attention from his mom or his dad and um you know they just left him to be and never g- gave him that attention that he wanted he, mm. that person grows up thinking this is like the norm it's actually fine so if so if no one shows as much interest in me as what I th- uh, as I'd like I'm just going to ghost them because mm. that's how I grew up that's how I'm, what I'm used to that's the norm for me where a, a lot of the time I think the ghost doesn't realize Wh- how they're making that other person mm. feel I think there's that bit of lack in sympathy and I think that just that has a lot to do with someone's character or personality yes. traits yeah, yeah I'm, I must say for me you know after doing the ghosting I I really actually felt um, sorry obviously but skuldach um, mm. guilty. What, guilty yes I go. felt I felt really guilty for what I did because I was like, you know, I could have, I could have handled it better. I could have probably just, you know, sent a, a message saying, you know, you know, like this is probably not working out for us or probably just replied with hopes that, you know, he ghosted me anyway, because I knew that it was coming. So then it would kind of be like, okay, you know, it, it came from his side and not from mine. Mm. Um, but yeah, definitely. I also I also think from the ghosters side it it is not a very good um Im- communication skill because basically you are avoiding um speaking to the person honestly having a decent conversation with someone so you're actually avoiding co- communicating mm, properly mm. with someone and how are you going to do this in the future how are you going to handle situations in the future if you know you're not vibing with someone so yeah i must say after that happened it's definitely not something that i would do again i would rather now be more open and be like you know what this is probably not working it's for the best that we stop talking or you know just Mm. rather be Mm. be honest and open so Mm. you mentioned earlier something about communication what what do you want to say about that yeah so although i haven't i can't say i've been ghosted by a girl or have ghosted a girl luckily um i've definitely experienced it in my friend circle like when i was uh, i started my first year at, uh, in Joburg, and i met a good friend there and when i moved to pretoria and i started studying at turks um i invited him to actually come to pretoria and just check out the place and um at the time you know like you just want to show people sometimes uh, like how, how lack it can be yeah in comparison and we made these all these plans, and I'd like literally skipped class because I was like, okay, I'm gonna show this guy the 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 city and like Turks campus mm. and things like that. And we made the arrangements in the morning, and um, it was for a certain time, let's say eight o'clock in the morning, and then half past eight came, quarter to nine, nine o'clock, and I had no- heard nothing from the guy. And um, yeah, by like. 11 o'clock 12 o'clock in the afternoon i was like wow is this like okay try and call him can't get a hold of him eventually um like in the afternoon uh, i co- i managed i had his mom's like their, their home telephone number on my phone so i called home or his, his his house and then um his mom answered and she was like oh no this guy's hanging out with his friends from new zealand so sure he just completely like ignored those plans and then went on with it like so I can understand, like, if your friend is here from New Zealand, that's mm. big. But, but open just let communication me know, yeah. and let me know. Just that's the that's the key thing, and it's just it's just a thing of um, integrity and 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 just being, yeah, um, open with that person and yeah. just saying, listen, I can't make it. Uh, you, you know, that's just a lot better. You're actually thinking about the other person. It's not as you know, ghosting is like it's, it's so selfish mm. because you're just thinking about yourself. Yes, and if you know that whatever what you're doing is going to hurt the other person then yeah that's just selfish and it's, yeah. it's not cool yeah i actually had a kind of similar thing where a friend and i had a bit of a disagreement and i said some 
like I said some things that I felt she needed to hear honestly um, because I, f I felt like um, I needed to speak truth into her life because I was seeing that she was entering into like a very unhealthy relationship and she got so upset with me she landed up not speaking to me for like five days I I messaged her I tried to call her um, I tried to arrange to see her nothing she would read my messages not reply anything and I got so panicked it was it was so hard because it's one of my best best friends and then um I called her sister that didn't work and then after five days eventually um after calling her like I think 12 times she landed up just sending me a message and you know this long voice note explaining in everything but I just kind of felt like you know from her side she could have just said you know what you hurt me just give me some space to work through this um I am upset mm. with you but you know uh, just just give me the moment to to go through everything that you told me because I am hurt where I was you know freaking out you know my best friend is ignoring me do I even still have a friend left um it was it was quite hard so yeah ghosting is definitely it hurts the person I, I think that ghosting someone and rejecting someone in that way is much more hurtful than giving them closure and openly speaking to them and being like you know what this didn't work yeah, yeah. like obviously it's gonna hurt if a guy or a girl tells you uh this is not just not working for me but i read something that's that's quite cool is a thing of um like no one can make you have a low self-esteem unless you allow it so yeah we should just get to a place where we don't allow that opinion or that person you know not being interested in you to make you have a low self-esteem but rather switch over to this thing of you know what there's someone better out there if this person is not interested in me then i know that someone else will be um yeah let's also talk a little bit about how technology has escalated this whole thing of ghosting yeah so i think that is a major role player in this whole ghosting phenomena that is what since the 90s that it started um i think something like tinder is a lot to mm. blame because essentially back in the day if you wanted to let's say go on to go see a girl you climb on his bicycle and he'd cycle like 5k's to go visit the girl and you know there's a lot of effort that goes into that i think both of them appreciate that effort and he's just your attention is there with that one girl especially like if you're in a small town where mm. there's like only a few uh, thousand people um whereas i feel like tinder opens up that entire playing field and it's no longer just that one person mm. it's a hundred people that mm. you've got options to so if you chat into this this person and you feel like oh, you know is this person even worth the effort? Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Next, you swipe. know, and you just swipe mm. next person. Let's see what if they've got. If they're a bit funnier, if they're a bit more sporty, mm. if they what you know whatever. And um, remember that Tinder is like just mostly. Look, I I know people who, who actually met on Tinder and they're married and mm. they're happy, but a lot of the time that that stuff is face value stuff, and the people use it more for like superficial liking someone superficially rather than getting to know them yes. on a deeper level where I think that when you spend time with people in person that 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 makes a big difference and um, that's why this thing with like cell phones using cell phones all the time you know there's not that there's a lot of miscommunication mm. we're going back to like the core of the ghosting which yes. is communication yes. and you know certain things get said over a phone or over voice note and the person thinks oh my goodness like they take it up the wrong way because they're not speaking to the person mm. in person in person in person <laughs> <laughs> um but yes yeah, so that communication becomes a big issue and that is why i think yeah, technology has is, is yeah 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 and i also think that you know it makes it so much easier to go someone because now it's a thing of um let's say this person 
lives a little bit further away from you um, and not in your vicinity, the chances of you running into them are very scarce where now you can just not message them. I, I know actually of a friend who she was talking to this guy and then all of a sudden um, he like, you know, your profile picture goes away on and then you cannot send that person a message or nothing. He literally just blocked out of nowhere blocked her unfollowed her removed her as a follower without explanation like nothing at all and uh, yeah I, I also think it it leaves that sense of um confusion and questions not getting that closure so yeah and technology i mean with with us switching over to social media um talking a lot more over the phone it it creates this sense of it's it's much easier to go someone that mm. way whereas you know long ago it it wasn't like that i don't even think people i think they had more decency mm. um than our generation today to you know not go someone at all yeah so it's, it's a little bit cowardly to just go someone you know it's um like i said it it, it it's it's something about the character of the person i think um if you've got that integrity, it's it's always good to be open and, and just be honest with those people. Mm. Like you said, um, you know, you think you might have hurt, hurt that person, but there's definitely, I think, gonna hurt a lot more if that person just gets ignored. And and then you don't, e they don't even know what the reason was why you stopped talking to them. It's just like they're gone. Mm. Now you start thinking to yourself, what did I do wrong? What what is this? Meanwhile, that person just, you know, they maybe decided they there's someone else that they fancy more. So. And you're not going to know that. You mm. maybe think, oh, my word, it's something that you, it's because you like e eating mint chocolate and he's like totally <laughs> against mint chocolate and you stop eating mint chocolate for the rest of your <laughs> life. That's just sad. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, do you think that once you notice that someone has ghosted you, that you should contact them, that you should send them a message asking them, like, Hey, have you ghosted me? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, so what? Because the question is, what's the period for ghosting? Is it like a few hours? Is it a day? Is it a week? Is it a few weeks? I think that's um, the first question. And I think the answer to that question is that it depends how well you know the person mm. and how you've been how you've been chatting mm. up to that point. I mean, if you're talking every single morning, every single evening and the person is not replying to let's say two days and you know there's something not lacquer. But I mean, if you talk every two days, every three days and the person ignores you then for like, let's say three days, you shouldn't be surprised. Um, so yeah, I think um, contacting the person definitely helps a lot because then, you know, like, so I've, I've, I recently have been in a situation where the person was just having a really like hectic weekend and now I'm thinking, oh my word, does the person want to talk to me? What's wrong? Is there something I said? You know, this this thing starts going, mm. this thought starts going through your mind. Meanwhile, that person just had a bit of a hectic weekend and they just needed some space. And, um, you know, I, I was lucky. I just um, contacted or I sent a voice note just saying, listen, why are you ghosting me? <laughs> and the person was like, no, I'm not ghosting you. It's just, it was, it was a hectic weekend. And, um, I think that open communication helped a lot because now we uh, understand each other. We like we were able to talk about it afterwards and say, you know, it's, this is what I thought, this mm. is what you thought, but actually we're thinking the same thing. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. But I also I also feel that there's a limit, like to because sometimes um, you contact the person, ask him, you know, what's going on, what's going on, and they keep ghosting you, they keep ignoring you, and I think at that moment you should kind of just accept accept the hurt accept that this is what's busy happening and maybe just step away from from the situation instead of like keep asking this person because then i feel kind of this person um gets not more pleasure out of it but more this um sense of authority because oh look now this this person is trying to keep coming off to me um maybe maybe the ghoster th gets gets a kind of satisfaction off of the fact knowing that someone is so desperately seeking their attention 
Um, so I would say like once contacting, but then after that, if that person keeps ignoring you, then mm. yeah, maybe just let it be. But I feel you're yeah, in the end with ghosting, we should get to a place um, in our generation where we speak openly and truthfully and communicate to people um, how we're feeling about stuff because that's so important. And I do actually feel that our generation is more open to honesty and speaking more openly yeah. about things. So we should definitely head into that direction with that. So it's so ironic because as the world is ghosting more, we're actually becoming a bit more honest with each other as well. Mm. We just need a bit more honesty. Yeah. <laughs> just being completely open with one another. Yes. Um, yeah, I do feel we, we tend to be way more honest now than than ever before. But yeah, definitely honesty is the best policy. So if you ever feel like you need to go someone, just rather don't. Just speak openly to them about how you're feeling. Tell them if you're not interested in them. Um, if a friend has maybe hurt you, instead of ignoring them, ghosting them, just rather speak about it, be honest, be open, and just do not ghost anybody because it's not fun. 